Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good to have you here. Paul Tranny with the one and only Kyle Grady in the house. That's yeah. me. That's me. Right on. Very first time here. Very first time here. First time in San Francisco? Yes, sir. First time in the Adobe Studios. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. Exciting. Again, gorgeous, beautiful bay view as you can see out those gorgeous windows. Oh, it's beautiful. Right? Isn't it, it is beautiful. Good. He's <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, so this is gonna be really fun. Wanna welcome everybody. Good to have you, Antonio and Kevin and Miguel. It's gonna be a full fun day. We're gonna kind of click through the schedule uh, real fast. All this week on Adobe Live, starting out with us this morning. You did just see, hopefully, Marissa Blair, XD Daily Creative Challenge, kicking it off day one. Kyle will be with me for two hours. Uh, Lisa will be up with Marissa as well, which will be cool. And Jermaine, hopefully is the name. I'm saying that right. I always feel like I'm doing it wrong. Uh, but we have a full day all about UX and UI, so we're really thankful that you're joining us today. And yes, it is a big day for Kyle and will hopefully be a big day for you. So we have lots of things going on. We have random chat and wins, but we also have the daily submissions as well. So feel free, get involved. <coughs> We're at day one. This is also in the daily challenge tab. Design a poll app for mobile. Uh, we'll have a different challenge tomorrow. And then day three is portfolio reviews. So make some cool stuff. Maybe it ends up in your portfolio, and then we review it on Thursday. So, Kyle, you're gonna help me with that, by the way. <laughs> yes, yeah. looking yeah. forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it could be a little scary if somebody's like looking at your portfolio. You're like very vulnerable. Yeah, just um, judgment. You know, judgment it's all this judgment, <laughs> and you're like, how do I feel about this? And quite frankly, uh, speaking of portfolios, and to put you on the spot, what? Here we Shucks. are. KyleGrady.com, <laughs> so you can check him out. Oh, I love your, um, what is your Twitter handle, by the way? It's uh, KylePGH. Oh, KylePGH. What yeah. about on Instagram? Kyle Gradient. I like Kyle yeah. Gradient. <laughs> Kyle Grady, Kyle Gradient. It's clever. Like I'm That's always, cute. yeah, super, super <laughs> clever, super cute. So check out his work. Um, is your background, and what is PGH for those who don't know? Uh, yeah, PGH stands for Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, so, city of Beautiful bridges and such. Ooh, I like Ooh. it. Anybody uh, from PGH <laughs> out there? Any pick Pittsburgh uh, fellow picks Pittsburgh uh, viewers out there? Wanna? Would love to give you a warm welcome. And honestly, would love to just hear where you're from in general. So, yeah, that's the plan. Let us know where you're from. It's Kyle's first time here in San Francisco. And not only that, not only we get to see you make cool stuff like we can see on your website here, and I want to talk all about your career. We'll dive into what you're going to do here in a moment. And let's not forget, we're going to have some random giveaways as well. Nice. So this is going to happen. This is during Chat and Win. Just so you know, this may or may not be filled with money. Is there money in there? Is that what I hear? It's probably Possibly. paper. Possibly. Paper There's money. Paper. There's not making any <laughs> jingling sound whatsoever other than the zipper, but we do have these uh, custom uh, designer totes, if you will, uh, custom, custom made. It uh, says Adobe XD on it, so that's for later, though. Yeah. Yeah, you want to. You want to. <laughs> look at this. You just got to take it. You just got to take it. You just no, gotta... I mean, it's for someone else. <laughs> yeah, deserves it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we'll just do that randomly. Probably happen in a little bit, and that's what's happening. Fantastic. Cincinnati's in the house. That's, I don't know how far away that is from Pennsylvania. And I live, I live in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where Not is that? that? Far. Not far. What part of the world's that in? <laughs> <laughs> Mexico is here as well. <laughs> uh, yeah. And now mm. as well, Toronto's in the house. Yeah, what's up? Marissa's <laughs> from Toronto as well. I love Toronto. It's fantastic. Okay, enough of me gabbing away. I'm just happy oh, to have God. you. God. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we should probably switch to you. Colombia as well, Peru. Oh, awesome. Lots of Central South America. Technically South America, both those places. Austin, Texas. All right, Jason wow. Stewart from Pittsburgh as well. Very oh. cool, Arizona. And especially if it's your first time, we wanna give you a warm welcome. Spain, London, we get a little further. East from here, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia. I've been to Halifax, and I love Columbia, of course. Wow. Well, All right, were, huh? 
Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Hola, como estas? Muy bien, y tú? All right, that's all the <laughs> non-English we're going to speak today. Okay. We are going to tackle a problem today. What's the plan? Yeah, so I figured um, what we'd be working on for this stream is uh, creating a mentor app. Um, so basically connecting mentors to mentees, um, and we're going to focus on the creative field for this one. Okay, um, gotcha. So, so a, me yeah. a mentor app, like so, it's a mobile app, um, allowing you to like find a mentor? Is that yeah, so idea? think and of it as you have, you, you log in and you get the search through, you know, a directory of mentors that could relate to your field or what kind of like areas you're focus you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, it'll just connect you and give you kind of like a one place to find that. Okay. Right, so. Very cool. I think we can all use mentors. Hopefully you guys oh, agree. Sure. Uh, Montreal in the house. Uh, Kaylin, just so you know, we're going to have a creative jam in Montreal coming up pretty soon, I think in uh, September next month. So that's the plan. So the problem is uh, basically finding a mentor can be a tedious and stressful process. Yeah, so. And that's like you need a mentor to deal with the stress. <laughs> well, basically, but I mean. But then the mere thought of finding a mentor is also stressful. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's time consuming, right? So like for a while there, I mean, this like originally this idea came because uh, I was looking for a mentor for a very long time, probably uh -huh. like a little over a year. Um, and it came down to like me actually just like manually and organically like, reaching out. Yeah, and What's speaking up? of mentors, by the way, oh, Peter, there he Peter is. Del Tondo's in the house. I see you. What's up, buddy? Good <laughs> to have you, man. <laughs> Peter Del Tondo, would you consider him a mentor of yours? Oh, or? for sure, for awesome. sure. I've worked with Peter for. Do you is one of his stickers on your laptop? It is, is that, that Wake Lab. Yeah, right here. Look at that. I don't know. Can we zoom in on that? Is beautiful. It, I don't know, maybe we... beautiful thing. <laughs> Hey, it is beautiful. If we show it full screen, everybody's going to want it. it. There we yeah. go. Peter Del Tondo in the house, yeah. everybody. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Heba as well has been uh, pretty inspirational for you as well. Oh, for right. sure. Yeah, I met her. Um, I met both of them at Creative South uh, last year. And okay. like, just connecting with them and meeting them. Like, they're such motivated and driven people and just yeah. full of knowledge. That whole, uh, that whole conference, I just hear nothing yeah. but good things. It is. Like, it's definitely yeah. worth checking out for sure. Awesome. So. And I think it's important, I think, when it comes to, like, you know, finding a mentor, finding somebody that just mes meshes well with, like, your personality. Yeah. That yeah. checks all the boxes, but then it's like, do you just, do you get along with them? Right, because at the end know? of the day, it's like a, it's a relationship, right? It's yeah. more than just, like, networking, connecting with people. It's building yeah. a relationship with people. and Yeah, know, exactly. It's a little easier. That's why I like, it's fun to see, you know, familiar names in chat and everything. I think we yeah. like to just build relationships in general, because hey, we're all we're all people just trying to solve problems, right? right. That's what just trying to do, do good here. things. Just trying to do good so, things and uh. just get, just, we just want our bills paid, right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm a day, simple right? man, yeah. right? I just want to pay my bills. I'm easy. You do know, cool stuff like and then like enjoy life and spend it with good people. For sure. So how, what's the next step here? Um, yeah, so I mean, this right here is just a little bit, um, next thing is going to the solution, so. And go, go full screen or go a little larger maybe? Yeah, for okay? sure. Mm -hmm. How about that? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. There we are. Hey. I like how you made it a Now we're cooking. There we go. There we go. Love it. it. Better? Cool. Love it. Love, Thank love, you. love how your background ties in with your slide as oh, well. I'm all about those organic shapes. Just uh, abstract. And of course you have a nice Kyle gradient right I do. There, I do. It's I like my it. favorite color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, it is. It's cool. I'm gonna have so much fun. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm ready. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so I mean, typically the way I like to approach problems or projects is that I write in this little, I don't want to say like workshop, but basically I write down eight things. Um, I start with a problem so I know what I'm solving, right? Um, and like I said, this problem came because I myself had a pretty hard time finding a mentor in the past. Um, and I actually just like, funny story, I kind of just like slid into Peter Del Tondo's Twitter DMs and. Oh, I was just like, hey, slid in. do you mentor people? Hey, what's <laughs> but up? No, he was super I'm nice here. and super cool about it. But I think like one of the problems that like a lot of people don't reach out like that because, you know, they think, you know, maybe other people are like really, really busy and they don't want to interrupt them or maybe like they suffer imposter syndrome and don't really know if they should be doing this. So, but it's pretty cool. But um, so solution today is what we're coming up with. It's, uh, it's a mobile app that basically helps you find and connect with mentors from around the world um, that best fit your areas of focus. Um, and like I said, it's a lot about building relationships with people um, that share the same drive and motivation with you. Mm -hmm. um, so after this, I kind of like to go into like a value prop. And this is just as a product designer, a couple steps I take to kind of understand the actual business as a whole and stuff like that. But since we're making this up, mm -hmm. this is equally exciting. 
Um, this one does say Yoda, but then I kind of scrapped it just for mentor without the vowels because that's pretty startup y and kind of cool. Oh, was that the name? Yeah, Yoda. You know that? Um, Yoda. I didn't want to use like oh. the whole Star Wars with the Y O D. Yeah. Y O D A, so I didn't want to you know. Yoda. So Yoda. That's fun. Um, Working title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a plan. So, but um, but yeah, just like it's going to make you find uh, mentors in one place, it's going to be fast and efficient. Easy way to communicate people, match skills, and ideally, once this is built, if it's ever built, um, machine learning. So kind of like the more people you can kind of connect with, it's going to tell you to people that are going to be more related to you. Mm -hmm. um, and then just going forward, it's like metrics, competitors. Um, you got to know what you're going to be tracking, who your competition is. I call it the secret sauce because it's mm -hmm. like what makes you different from everyone else. That's good. Um, but secret sauce kind of sounds delicious. You yeah, know? it does. <laughs> I'm all about food. <laughs> Sprinkle it on there a bit. Um, and then, you know, like, of course, you know, who you're building for, right? So your targeted audience. And this is just anyone that is looking for, you know, growth and trying to find that guidance yeah. um, with its career. And of course, it's going to be scalable, right? Because you can, a lot of areas of focus, right? You can, yeah. healthcare, um, I think yeah, we were you could get earlier, you right? could get as specific as you want. Whether you right. want it like a, a relationship mentor, if you will. Yeah, you know, like, um, like that guidance. You know. Yeah, just yeah. guidance in life. Like you, you need that stuff. Where do you find a lot of these answers that you need? As there's no, there's no manual for being an adult. Maybe right. there is. Is there? I feel like I that wasn't not. a high school subject, and I wish it would have been. Like, yeah. here's what you do when you're Here, an adult. Seriously, like <laughs> life, life you know? 101. Like, here's how you pay your bills. Right. And here's how you do this. Here's how you do that. And like. I'll, like, I'll never need the cosine of pi. You know yeah. I mean? Like, they teach I don't that. even I'm know. Like, I don't know either. I, I know pi. I like pi. I like pi. And yeah. donuts. Donuts are <laughs> class. Pi and donuts. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yeah. All right. Uh, what I think is unique about this project is that, like, some people come in and we just, it's a made up fun project. But this is actually something you've been thinking about for a while as yeah, well. Yeah, it has been. Um, maybe a couple months ago, maybe almost a year ago, actually, I thought of the concept and, you know, I got busy with work and other freelance projects. But, um, something that I think is super important and would benefit a lot of people. Yeah. You know? and that's what I want to do is help as much as I can with people. Yeah, you know? I think that's so good. Well, we appreciate you. Um, we appreciate, we're going to, you're going to be helping us just by doing what you do. We're going to just watch over your shoulder as you build this out. Oh, so here we go. So, yeah, Designing so. a, a d UX UI 101. Sure thing. As part of a mentor app that uh, hopefully we can uh, help you in any way possible. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. You already have a lot of this outline. This yeah, so I, what I wanted to focus on today was like the onboarding and kind of like the initial start of an app. Um, you know, so you got your login, your signups, and this is kind of going through. I know some people and myself tend to forget a lot about like the, the, the simple things, like the most basic starts of most mobile applications. Yeah. So I like to write everything down up front. Um, I like to section it off by like, you know, like I think for this week it's onboarding and then what happens when you're in app and prototyping and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I sectioned it out for this week. Yeah. Can you zoom in on that too? Yep. Sorry about that. Nice and big and glorious. And you're using Grammarly just kind of writing down these notes. Oh yeah, just cool. to write some stuff down. Um, onboarding, you're right. We want to jump in right into the fun stuff. But like this, this is important, this onboarding. These yeah. Onboarding and steps. I think Typically, I'd you know work through like some user flows and wireframes, but I've been thinking about it for a while. And ooh, you know. uh, Cecile, Cecilia, Cecile, uh, already we have one taker on the apps. She's there we like, go. hey, if it arrives in the app store, she's all over it. Boom. Proven market fit right there. Yeah, you know, like see, it's so good. I personally think everybody should be a mentor and a mentee because I think everybody has something to teach somebody. Oh, else, for right? sure. And it's always about like you know, I feel like. I'm a firm believer in you can always learn something from mm -hmm. almost anybody, right? And I think so. You know, if, with an open mind. Hundred you know, percent. For yeah. sure. Even if it's what not to do. Oh, <laughs> preach it. <laughs> right. Lots so, of people out there who can yeah. show you what not to do. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna. Do that. I, I remember that. You know? Noted. <laughs> when I'm in that situation, I ain't gonna do it. Um, so yeah. So like I said, typically we do some wireframes, but I figured today we just kind of jump it in, get to some fun. And Let's do it. Let's design a way. Adobe XD here. We'll so happy to have. I do have kind of a start, not so much of a start, but just like the foundation work, right? So this will be designed for an iPhone 10X, whatever yeah. too. Um, so, you know, keep that notch at the top. Do I, do not. I don't either. I, have a, I think we I have can pretend. Plus, but you know, yeah. Okay. How about what you want? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so on iPhone 10, you know, you had that nut, that, you know, that um, the bottom bar for you to slide up and you have the notch at the top. So. Yeah. 
helps with the, when you start to design. So I figured from And where, where did you get that? Can you point people to yeah, where you got that? Yeah, for sure. So I actually grabbed like this it. from an Adobe XD UI kit. Um, there we oh, are. Just kidding, that's quick. So yeah, so you can grab a lot of, you know, your standard iOS. Um, and then you here. got it like in the, where, where in the menu? Like, did you go to file? Oh yeah, so I opened up here, file, get, get UI, UI kits, kits, and then Apple, Apple iOS. iOS. Really awesome. I also download the, the wireframe kit, which I can show you here. Um, it's just good to like, just to kind of keep track of things and if you. And just to be aware of this, like I think this one's nice because it does have, you know, of course, all sorts of things, profiles, messaging, activity, and then like sign up, which right. is kind of Right, and it kind of gives you a good feel for like different options, At least right? like a place to start, because I think opening just file new that's a white artboard can be kind of intimidating. It's intimidating, but like equally exciting, If you right? know what you want, because I think- Wait, well, yeah, if you know what you want, that's fair. You, you already kind of have an outline, so you kind of know what you need to create, which is kind of cool. Right, yeah, and I have a vision in my head. Got a vision? Visions. We just got to- just gotta put it on this blank put it, canvas, right? Put it there. It's life right there. So, yeah. So, so I figured we'd just get started. And um, yeah, you guys ever have any questions or, I kind of have a, a color scheme in mind, but if anybody has different <laughs> colors they want to challenge with, that'd be Is it gonna be fun. a gradient? Please, gonna, <laughs> please, please tell <laughs> me it's gonna be a gradient. Of course it would be a gradient. gradient. <laughs> Why would it not be? <laughs> <laughs> so feel free and like, just as you were kind of talk through your, your process. And again, just want to thank Peter for being here. And everybody who is happens to be a mentor, I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Howard Pinsky as well, a new XD evangelist, is in chat. Nice. I'm sure he's done a good job of being a mentor to others and producing video content. And uh, lots of smart people, basically. Very, so, like, very we're going to use, like, we're no going to be like, pressure. no, <laughs> no, but we're like, we're going to use, we're going to tap this huge brain trust that we have. In yes. Chat, basically. That sounds great. I'm here First for of all, it. I like I do I do like the name of your app because currently you have it as mentor. Can you? I don't know. If, oh yeah. yeah, we can just uh, let's put it up here to start. I don't like caps. Let's do that one. Right. I like it. Yeah. And so uh, let's get some script fonts maybe because why not? Yeah. Uh, hey, it is your app. You get to do <laughs> what you want. But we're all silently going to judge you, or not so silently, based on your font choice. I know. Because we're so good at that. No, Everybody I'm has an stressed. opinion. No, uh, no, I'm kidding. We're good. That's when you pick an annoying one, just because be like, "Hey, it's my design." What You're right. Yeah, is there? I will. I will pick one? the. Uh, I'll, Pacifico. I'll pick. <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> so can you read it. Can you? Okay. By the way, you can grab that little control point down below. Yeah. And zoop. Oh, this is cake. Look at that. So that's what we have so okay. far. Kind of, kind of hard to read, but I love the script. And we could, yeah, we it. could change that up for sure. I so. don't. Don't. <laughs> don't tell don't me do, to, don't. don't. Lindsay does say bring on the papyrus. Deal. Cheers to that. I like what she's, you know, papyrus. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, will for like, you. I will not, I'm not going to download it. Listen, I will tell you, how many people are going to, like, honestly, I judge apps. You do. Oh, I, oh, I judge like, apps too. I mean, you showed me that coffee design. one earlier. And that was the what? The coffee one? What was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Beautiful. We're, we're going to talk about it. Phil's coffee. I'm sorry. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. And I'm oh, did we? Sick of hearing about it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but it is a fantastic app. It does. It, it was beautiful. Um. So yeah. So let's just shorten this. I down. do think it's important that as you it, as you start to pick a font, that that font you need to make sure you you own rights to that font and you're able to actually distribute it with the app. Yeah. Right, that's that's the very true. So that's the very licensing true. for um, fonts, just be aware of it. And you can always do. Oh, um, we're not going to keep papyrus. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Watch viewership just. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, like we're out. Sorry. No way, we're just kidding. <laughs> That's why we have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel's like Comic Sans. What are you trying to do, Miguel? <laughs> First of all, I like, I like people that love to go against the grain. By the way. Yeah. Just like yeah, I'm using papyrus. What, <laughs> what, what, of, what it? of it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so let's. <laughs> I think Caroline is right because Papyrus does give that old timey feel. Um, oh, for sure. Just like Comic Sans, like everything has a place. I don't think it's fair to say never this and never that because everything I think yeah, has yeah. a place. Yeah, I think that's the cool part about design. It's up for interpretation, right? So if you feel like it fits, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, um, I'm a big fan of eight pixel grids. And I just said just because a lot of foundations are built off mm -hmm. it. So you'll see me. Really tweak things like this a lot. Um, 
There is. You could actually turn on a, a grid. I can show you that in a second. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, let's not do that. Let's just do a username. No, you could do that. Place holder. This is like. So yeah, so I'm using Evan here because it's probably one of my favorite fonts. Atif, I agree. So font formatting in um, Adobe XD would be helpful. So you can turn on all caps, initial caps, things like that. Mm, okay. I'd kind of like, I would like that. Because I use that a lot in Illustrator and other apps. So let's just bump that up to like so 16. And, uh... So perfect. Thank you, Jacob. If you're new to XD, you're in the exact right place. We're building out this, um, a mentor app. Basically allows you to find the right mentor for, uh, for whatever you need. Focusing on design, basically. But this is day one of three, so thank you so much for joining us, Jacob. Um, let's make, let's put some color in here. Huh? So concerning if an app made in XD available to be uploaded in the Apple App Store, just so you know, you're, we're designing it and we're getting all the design specs and assets from XD. We prototyped it. So we basically solved all the problems, but it's not developed yet, so no coding is done. Uh, sort of behind the scenes. That's like the next step. But the thing is, is you'd give this to a developer and there shouldn't really be, uh, there will be very few questions in terms of what needs to be done in terms of design and functionality. So I just want to create my gradient now. Oh, Lizeth, thank that? you. This is very cool. Hopefully you like the the theme. I think it's I think it's fun, the whole theme. And by the way, I'm glad you're doing this because I think the gradient tab is kind of, uh, the, the gradient drop is kind of hidden. Yeah. Some people don't know that it's right, that little menu right there, solid color, linear, yep. and then radial. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of diag diagonal gradients. Um, it's a little harsh of a purple. That's also an ugly. Like, I feel no. like, tell, tell, correct me if I'm wrong, we could literally spend the whole time just doing I could this one part. <laughs> I could and spend I would all be day. like, honestly, I would be like, okay with it. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Nah. And we'd end up with like 50 different swatches. We would easily. Fun. So we're just going to commit to one. So I know I could <laughs> oh, literally we, spend so long. This is fun. So you're, you're kind of relatively, you've played with XD in the past. Mm -hmm. The fact that we update it like each month is a whole thing. So I might be kind of chiming in with okay. some. Yeah. Because once you get this established as a gradient, you can save this as a in as your assets asset, panel. right? Yeah. Okay. So gradients are saved there, and then if you change the gradient, it'll change everywhere. Nice. The only thing okay. that doesn't get saved with that gradient is the fact that you did it at a forty-five a degree angle. Okay. Now, is there a way to copy the style? Button? Oh yeah, just hit copy. Oh okay, cool. And then where you want, and then paste the appearance. Well, but the thing is, is what, do you, what yeah. are you trying to do? What are you well, trying to paste there? I just want to make sure to have it. I was going to put this in the gradient, but then I realized it's not an outline yet, so we're good. We're just going to wait for it. Oh, that's a good question. But, I'll tell you what. What font is that again? Uh, this one's Pacific here. I'm just going to lock that down now. Cool. So... Karina, you can edit vectors imported from AI. In fact, that's what I might do, is I might um, replicate that logo, if you will, mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay, cool. And then you can do whatever you want with it. I'm good with that. And if you are new, uh, if it's your first time joining us, Cheers. feel free to chime in. We wanna, we wanna toast you, just like it's Kyle's very first day here and uh, um, now that he's in the studio we usually lock we lock you in we lock the yeah, doors did you yeah. know this i did not know that yeah. but like I, I don't committed. worry on the green I screen committed. we put a nice scene of san francisco but typically you stay in the studio okay so it's yeah. like you're part of the city but you're stuck so we're in here. the studio okay. so we're, we're here for a bit it's perfect <laughs> oh that is not what i wanted to do that's okay then oh thank you so much paulo very nice of you Ooh, yes Oh, yes. Hold on. I am I know I'm saying yes. Horizontal scroll would be fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to check on something really fast. Wait for it. So you're not going to really export this to PSD. 
I'd like to know why you'd want to export it to PSD. I think typically some some agencies and big companies need assets in PSD format, so mm. that's why it ends up in PSD. You can Got work it. the other way, by the way. So Billy, you can take a PSD, so if you have designs done in Photoshop, you just file open, you can open up that PSD in okay. Adobe XD. Nice. So layers will come in, all that good stuff. And by the way, Jules Cross, I hear what you're saying, the PSD handoff to developers. Some developers want it in PSD format. I think that's something they've had to do because they were only working with designers that, that yeah. knew that were working in Photoshop. Right. But I don't know if it's really a developer's preference to get a PSD file. I mean, because really to be a developer and like, oh, I, now I got to learn how to pick apart this PSD file is right. a whole thing. Just yeah, like kind of like you said, I feel like that was like the old way and the cool yeah. way to do it, right? Now there's so many different yeah. options out there. I'll show you some That's of that. Cool. Let me just uh, let me make sure I just publish this prototype. So give me a second. Cool. All right. So let's just uh, let's get cooking here. So let's make. Mm. Oops. Oh, thank you so much, Tim. I'm glad you posted that, Tim, as always. Thank you, sir. I'm always thankful for Tim, and not just because he can crush me because he's 6'7". <laughs> um, but there, we're pretty open when, in terms of what we're developing, and you can find what we're working on under the help menu in XD. It's basically user voice. Let's just put some cool, I just want to put that in. Oh yeah, I like it. So a flowy blob. A flowy blob. <laughs> I guess I'm all about these weird shapes. <laughs> weird shapes. I love it because what it does as a designer, you recognize that there's like so many right angles and horizontal lines. This this really makes it obviously more interesting. All right, let's check this out. I just want to flip it. How would I flip this shape like this? Oh yeah, you you could you you. It doesn't do necessarily a flip, so okay. there's no. No worries. We would put that in user voice as like there a feature. Go. I could just do that. Right yeah, there. you could do it that way. Bam. So yeah. Kyle, thank you so much. You're really digging the music. It is by oh, uh, yeah. it's by MC Paco. He's uh he's a he's our in-house DJ playing and really mixing up uh, the sick beats as we call them. It's DJ Paco. So let's just get this a little more. Couple things real fast. Uh, there's not a way to export to Sketch, Stephen. What you can do is you can take a Sketch file and you can open it up in XD, just like you can with the PSD. And all those symbols will come in and everything. So, Anias says, "I love it. I love what you're doing here. Like, slow down. No, I'm just Sorry joking. about no, it. I'm just joking. Keep, Tunnel vision. Keep Here going. We go. Work it. Work it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I figured instead of focusing too much on that, we would just continue to move along. Maybe get some more, like, more fun screens. Uh, I think I was looking really. I think I and I noticed even there with that that logo is like a." A, a gray, dark gray? It's a dark gray. I think what? that was, um, oh, I ain't gonna lie to you, that was just had an accident. It was <laughs> but like, I just like to place it. it there, but <laughs> if we I, like it, we're, no, we're uh, committing. It's, yeah. How I about would, it? I, I think the, the light, the, the darker gray works. Justin Roy likes how it's 
very clean. Yeah, very feel nice. free. Critique everybody. Yeah. So, fantastic. About a minute away from Chat and Win, less than that. Cool, cool. Which is going right. to be so new this, for this you. Is sure is. All right. Does that have a gradient on it too, the button? This does not yet. Okay. No, we're just gonna commit to that solid color. I just now. like the fact that you're known as Kyle Gradient on Instagram, that everything should have a gradient. It, Even if it's from like <laughs> a medium gray to a, a slightly darker medium gray. For like sure. Everything does. Every, for me, like most things have gradients and drop <laughs> shadows. So we're just gonna commit to that right now. Man. Boom, Ashi, boom, it's official. She just installed. Uh, Adobe XD, fantastic. And not only that, we're celebrating you installing Adobe XD, but also it's chat and win time. Dive Woo! into chat and win right now. All right, welcome back, and thank you, Jacob. Just entered in chat and win, because what do you have to do? Just say, hey, what's up? Cool animation and uh, cool gradients. Just say something in chat so we know somebody's at the other end of the keyboard. And this is what we're giving away today. This fine designer tote. Put whatever you want in it. Guess what? Custom zipper. Yeah, that's new state-of-the-art technology. Cool. And there might be money in here, or there might not be anything in here. But that's... the thing is, this is... We're going to fill this with hopes and dreams, <laughs> and uh, you can put whatever you want in it, and we'll draw somebody at random. Uh, I love XD. Ooh, that's, that's one way to get picked. Sure is. <laughs> Actually, it's all done randomly. <laughs> Supposedly randomly. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's money exchanging hands behind the scenes. I don't know. But every it seems like every other day, Gus is coming in with like a new gold chain on. Just joking. <laughs> Adobe Live, the whole team, just gold chains. What's that all about? <laughs> and congratulations. Awesome. Cecile, you can see it right here. Congratulations. Hey. Cecile Catacine. There we are. Uh, you are the proud owner of this wonderful designer tote. Congratulations. Uh, custom made. You can't buy these anywhere or anything like that. At least, no, you can't. Um, so thank you so much for entering. We just want to do something nice for you to honor you um, as our audience for tuning in today, right? So we'll be doing these giveaways at semi-random times. Congratulations, Cecile. Hooray! She says, hooray! <laughs> that's awesome because we were just talking to her and she just we won. So that's pretty cool. It was meant to be. It was meant, it was meant to be. And by the way, yep. if uh, apologies if you did not win. Um, hello to Brazil, by the way. Good to have you here. Micro imaging, I take that's what that is. Uh, but if you didn't win the chat win, there's also the daily challenge. You could always check that out. Today's daily challenge is stories. So you can see that under this chat tab, we have daily challenge. And you can see the daily challenge is about stories. So prototype stories for a social networking mobile app using an XD file. Customize it, do all that fun stuff. stuff, And uh, you can prototype it using some user flow and adding some transitions, but it's all right there. And uh, we will give you one year of Creative Cloud uh, and uh, when we pick our winner. And just so you know, this morning is the best time to win because there's the least amount of competition because it's the and shortest amount of time between when we announce this between that now and when we pick the winner. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> cool. uh, Jonathan, where do you see this video after you, after we finish? We have it uh, recorded to VHS and we can send it out to you. Uh, bad joke. It's on YouTube. It's actually, no, it's, in, it's, it's on YouTube. It's part of that replays tab up at the top of the screen. So we have now playing, and then we have replays right here. So check that out. Day one, two, and three will be available and all that good stuff. They're a little large. So Arlindo, yes, this is Adobe XD. 
Kyle Grady, jumping in and creating a mentor app, designing kind of the login screens. You've done three already, by the way. You already have established a design, and you've done you've done multiple screens. Right. This is sweet. I like it. Get pretty stoked here. Yeah. So here we go. I need this. Boom. boom. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ooh, let's the password. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, do do it. Add oh, okay. a dot. Add a dot. Add a dot. And you and then let's oh, let's do a uh -huh, uh -huh. do a repeat grid with this. And once you get that the way you want it. Yep. And really like kind of zoom in on that so everybody can see it a little better. There we go. Select it. Yeah. Because you want multiple, right? I do. Is it command? And then R? and then yeah. but still show them up there and repeat grid up at the top, the upper. Boop. Okay. And just select just that and then hit repeat grid. Now grab, zoom in on, on it some more. It might be kind of hard to see. But with repeat grid, it allows you to duplicate the item like many times. So grab the edge on the right side and pull that out. And now you have like as many. Oh, right on. What? Okay. I think this is really cool. And by the way, you want to adjust the spacing? Just yeah, roll over that. Okay. Yes, please. That was <laughs> genius. And by the way, you want to change that? You want it larger or smaller, you just change one, it's gonna change all of them. Nice. So the style's linked. Okay, cool. And it could do so much more. Well, that was handy. Yeah, so I, I like using repeat grid for that. Yeah. Anytime you find yourself like duplicating like more than once, yeah. think about, well, maybe if I do a repeat grid, and even if I ungroup it, like break it apart after that, that's okay, because it's easy way to make 15 of something. Okay. Um, Thanks and then, for coming whatever. handy for sure. <sighs> <laughs> okay, Mark, thank you so much. Was Mark was asking about repeat grid and I'm glad we covered that because it was I feel like it was like a pretty big feature when XD first came out. Like if you didn't know about it, mm -hmm. you're we need to show you. If we could help that one is, person, if we could show one person then that, then that's huge. But chances are we cheers. showed a lot. Let's just make this smaller now that it's and Jesse's getting even more advanced with repeat grid. So we're just grazing the surface, okay? And again, we are just starting right now, so there's more it can do. Thank you, William. I think repeat, this is always interesting when you have a feature that hits XD or any of the apps, you wanna see it in all the other apps. Cause I wanna see For it sure. now in Illustrator yeah. and Photoshop. I wanna see you like repeat grid everywhere. Trust me, like we hear those comments. I'm sure the Illustrator team is getting that. Like, hey, I just saw this. Why don't you? Have it? <laughs> What's up? So, Photoshop two. A little drop shadow. Are you going to put a photo in there? I am. Oh, I'm interested in how you do this and stuff. There's two ways. Well, okay. I plan on just dragging it in from the from Finder, so it just masks yeah. it automatically. Boom. But I need that empty state first, so I need icons. Oh, so it's a blank. You haven't uploaded it yet. Correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, this is fun to see. Because this is the first time we're actually like drawing something, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna make a little person? Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try to make a little person. <laughs> See how this works, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> Cal, yes, there are there are libraries in XD. I'm not sure what you mean 100% there. There are Creative Cloud libraries and there are assets. The assets panel is probably what. Ooh, what? You just that was awesome. I look away for a second. Simplicity. <laughs> Simplicity. Seriously, <laughs> you know, freaking don't reinvent the wheel. Like no. seriously, that was perfect. <laughs> That's all we need to do. All about that moving fast. Set, let's do that instead. So it's looking good. So have you used like I think after a while we'll have to figure out like I don't know if you've used the assets panel much, but we can. Not yet, but I plan to because I think yeah. you created some cool. But we could. We don't. Not even there. Not you even know, we, the we could do that. Panel. Yeah, and maybe we're not at that point right now. Oh, okay. is that a fancy gradient on the login button? It is, it is. Can I, sh can I show you something really fast yeah. with the assets panel? So select the login button mm -hmm. and go to the assets panel, which is those little dots right down there. Okay. And then hit the plus sign under symbols. Boop. 
Now drag that one out. And then nice. if you click on the, it does more because that text, cl double click on into that text, you're inside of the symbol. Now double click again. You can change this to enter or something. It could be anything, but the the text can be, you know, custom. Okay. But it's still tied to. But it's to, still tied symbol. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. So just so you know that that is there because typically maybe you do want to make sort of like, maybe there is a standard type That's button. Yeah. And, uh, but the cool thing is, okay. is like we could also save all those gradients and all that stuff to the assets. Right. Control. That's awesome. But we're not ready for that yet. That's getting. We'll get there for we sure. We can't give away all the. <laughs> You're already moving like uh, mighty fast. I'm <laughs> loving it. I'm loving it. We got to save something for days two and three. We got, we got, we got, we got a lot to cover here. It's gonna be exciting. Uh, so where, where are we at here? Let me see here. Clear the name picture out. Thank you so much. I love. So, doing micro interactions and stuff like that and animations is on the list. Cool. Cool. A little bit about yourself. yourself. I love, I love, I love the fun language. I'm all, I'm all about that cheese in it. <laughs> right? It's like yourself. Like, thank you for not being so boring. <laughs> and thank you for not being too cutesy. Cutesy. Like some. Yeah, I'm a sucker for that. I'm like I, a I like it. Sometimes it's almost like, yeah, there's. Sometimes just say enter. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be cutesy with like everything. It has to be the right amount of cutesy in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, you're right. I mean, talking about But cutesy. I love. Ooh, cupcake and some. I don't know cupcake. Cupcake Ipsum. Oh yeah, first this is my default. <laughs> by far, <laughs> by far. Hooray cupcakes. Oh yeah. Except I... Here, you can take that and yeah. turn that into a uh, paragraph text right over here. It should be the little. This one? Uh, yeah. And now it's a box. You, you need to be able to grab, actually do this. Just delete that altogether, that text. Just hit delete. And then draw out a box using the text tool. Oh. Yeah, you're just clicking. You're just clicking <laughs> once like a madman. There we go. <laughs> this joke. Okay. Paste it. Now you pasted it. Now we got it. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, who is, what is everybody's favorite lorem ipsum? Good questions, Caroline. You like cape cup, cupcake ipsum? I like cupcake ipsum for sure. I'm a big fan. I like hipster ipsum. Okay. Hipster ipsum is hilarious. This is fun to read. <laughs> there's a... Is it, there's a Samuel L. Jackson Ipsum. I've, I've seen that one. There has it's to be a Snoop, there has to be a Snoop Dogg. You Ipsum. would think there would. You'd think there would be, yeah. Bacon That's Ipsum. <laughs> Office Ipsum. <laughs> and what I'll do a lot, actually, do I have it on this text? This is what, let me try to get to a screen where I need it. I'll use something like Text Expander. Are you familiar with Text Expander? Mm -mm. So I'll just I'll just switch over to my cool. screen real fast. Cool. So, because um, I just actually already heard that um, you know a lot of people are using Hipster Ipsum and stuff like that for all those shortcuts. Text Expander just allows you to uh, do a simple, you know, Ipsum. Any time, any time I type in Ipsum this way, it'll just magically appear in here. So what do I do? Let's go right in here. I P S I P S U M M. Boom. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's keyboard. Sh it's like keyboard shortcuts for custom text. And that's by default, or um, I set it up myself. It so it could yeah. be address, uh, but I'll add. Okay. I don't want it to happen every time I type in address the actual word. I'll add an extra s at the end, and then it pastes in my address. Gotcha. But this is a this is the hipster ipsum is nice. what I have in here. Yolo. Flannel. <laughs> you see <laughs> Lolo? Yeah, right. LaCroix. 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 Oh, help us all. <laughs> that is great. Single origin coffee. <laughs> like <laughs> activated charcoal. <laughs> I'll get some activated charcoal in my coffee this morning. <laughs> what what is that? That was just called text expander. I dig that one for sure. So it's good for those things you have to type all the time. All right. Cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. 
we are. Uh, you are on a mission. I am on a mission. Should we use those illustrations? Those oh yeah, cute, that'd be super fun. Things. Yeah, let me let me drop some more in there too. I'll put a couple in. I am about it. Sweet. What's sad is I made more on the plane, and I think thanks to Dropbox, my they got overwritten. All my work from the plane last night. That's a bump. Yeah, that's tough. So this is essentially what we're doing real fast, just so you can see. Yep. Kind of doing some of these fun characters yesterday. Might use some of them. We have this Creative Cloud library. What I did is I selected collaborate. So we're currently collaborating, um, but I'll take like this. This guy looks like a mentor, I guess, but dropping him in there. Let's drop in <laughs> this lady over here. And then they're getting synced to this CC library. And of course I can name them. You know, this could be even a profile image, could be whatever, right? But now Kyle's gonna have access to all these fun characters and stuff. Ooh, Dropbox, ver Dropbox versioning, is that what I need? Because Kind of having an issue with that. All right, cool. Cool. All right, we'll go pull on this. I just took this from that iOS uh, UI Oh, well. yeah, just perfect. Makes sense. I can't too. turn away because I always miss something. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, bam, oh, that's changed. That's there. We're going to take that mentor and we're going to place Let's see, can him we drop in him in? there. Mm. All right. Oh, and you can adjust the crop. Out. If you double click, then you'll be able to grab him. Now adjust the size of that box. If you could, yeah, there you go. Nice, okay. And oh. he could probably use, oh, leave it alone, by the way. Leave it alone, I'm so glad leave you did Leave it alone. That. No, you keep on doing oh. what you do, like, <laughs> like, just so you know, like, cause he, he, it does need a background, right? Like a gray background to offset yeah. his hair. Yeah. Glad we're on the same page, look at us go. I do have a question for you. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's, oh, okay, so if I, Right here, I had the drop shadow on there. So it's on the circle, but it's on the masking group. Is there a way? Uh, um, if not, no big deal. I mean, you, you just select simple. the mask group and then see if it, and now, now, oh shoot, you There's can't no. do it to a mask group. Okay. All right. Deal's and off. That's what I'll do. I'll just copy <laughs> that. Yeah. Paste it behind the mask group. This might change a little bit the size of our character might change a little bit, just so you know. I'm no worries. So, I'm flexible. just kind of switch over. Just all I did is add this gray box behind him. I synced it. So that's what's happening. If I switch over, hurry. Okay, there we go. Boom. It's already gray. Cool. It actually does update, no, and now that looks too. pretty good. Nice. Cool. So, yeah, that's kind of fun. That's cool. That makes it a lot faster, too. I like that it syncs. Yeah. Live like that. Yeah. <clears throat> you could you could tell. So it just it did change the style of it because it's like it's gonna be green with a link in the upper left hand corner saying that it's a linked item from right a designer. On. Okay. But good eye, Hen Hen Henarius recognized the shadow disappeared too. So Okay, so Should be some it. I feel like I should be some it. Yeah, I like CC libraries. What was that? Oh, just Kyle yeah. likes the CC libraries feature. The nice thing is, is you could be like, you could be like, screw you, Paul, and break the link. <laughs> like I'm freaking, you know, you got that gray all wrong, and then you just like change it yourself. I'm like, wait, <laughs> but wait, why? <laughs> but you can. <laughs> Oh, Caroline, that is a good point. She's saying the gradients at the bottom are kind of like being at the beach. It does create Probably a very nice wavy. feeling. Yeah. It's very good. She's like, she's loving it, so. Thank you. Thank you. It is very. Uh, Again, finding a mentor, we'll be like, hey, you know what? We're, you know, we're going to get you a mentor. Mentor. It's going to be, it's all going to be good. It's going to be a sunny yeah. day. Just go with the flow. Just go with the okay. flow. Yeah. Got this. So let's, um, all right, so after they submit it. Oh, William Workman, I'm glad you like Text Expander. What I'd actually like to, you can continue working. Yeah. 
I'm always interested in the other little apps that people use that have helped their workflow. Mm. I'd be and, interested in uh, hearing that. Um, and again, text expanders, probably mine, and uh, I have a couple others. Oh, Anel has to go to work. So, you know, we'll, we'll be here hopefully maybe when you get back. Hey, you know what? You could, I don't know what you do for work, but hey, you know what? We're here for you. Yeah. Tune in later. Okay, it's all good. So, again, Text Expander is not an Adobe product, just so you know. It's just a little, basically a separate little app. You could just search Google for Text Expander, right? That's it. Ooh, Justin Roy says rename. That sounds like an interesting app that I'd want. I want to be able to select a bunch of files and just rename them automatically. Oh, I actually cool. use Adobe Bridge to do that. Adobe oh, okay. Bridge will allow you to n rename a bunch of files. So, Kyle, you cannot create custom workspaces in XD. Um, but honestly, like, it's not like Illustrator or Photoshop to where you have 50 zil zillion panels. Mm -hmm. It's, there no, there's not a whole lot of, to like move around or to customize, I guess is what I'm saying, but good call. All right. Ooh, Gifsky is an app for Mac that'll let you create full color GIFs for design samples, not just flat. 256 color GIFs. Very cool. Uh, Van Dam, can you publish two links? So we haven't gotten into the publishing, but you can publish a prototype of this if you're using the sort of free version of Adobe XD, you can only publish out one link at a time. So that's probably what you're running into, potentially. Um, but if you have the full version, did you know that we have a free version of Adobe XD we just give out? Really? The only difference that, is, and it, it's like fully working. We don't like shut out down certain features, it's like fully working. It's just that you can only publish out like one link at a time, right? Okay. So you can only have one link out in the interwebs at a time is the idea. But otherwise it's, you know, the, for the starter plan, as we call it. So that's what I mean by free. It's the starter plan. Well, I should publish out one link, but you know what? One link's all you need for the daily challenge. So I'd like to talk about that for a second because we have about 40 minutes before we review these fancy daily challenges. So I always just check out that daily challenge tab, work on those projects, and we'll review them in 40 minutes. All right. Dark theme for XD. Yes, thank you. Oh, Caroline. I, she's asked if there's a dark theme for XD. Personally, I want a dark theme. Okay. I want the interface to be dark, though. No, 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 not just for this. <laughs> you can't. The whole thing. Oh. Like, what do you? What were you gonna do? I was gonna go to preferences. I know. I wish it was there. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go like, and no, I don't mean like you. Could, uh, you could, I guess, adjust the, adjust your screen brightness. I could do that. <laughs> Here's You're the about, dark like, interface. Like, uh, You're talking about, like, I yeah, just darkened the screen. <laughs> I just darkened my screen. That's okay. not how to do that. Oh, here we go. Like. I'm just like, here's a dark interface, just like that. No, no, no. But I thoroughly, I desperately want a dark theme. Okay. But you don't care. I don't know, I, I'm, a, I'm a light person. Like, I'm really, this, you know, makes me feel a little better. Does it? Yeah. So it's like a sunny, clean, feel clean, clean, sunny, happy day. And I'm yeah. like, I just yeah. want to be in a but dark could, room with yeah. a dark interface. Yeah. Just dark, everything's just just depressing and sad. No, just joking. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I would love a dark theme. That's a big thing of mine, by the okay. way. Like, I just I don't have an issue. Can I'll we, shut up. Can we I change that? No. We can't change it. Not right now. Sorry. Sorry <laughs> but you know what? That happens to be a feature. That's that's a that's a uh, you can upvote it through user voice. <laughs> just to like uh, you know forward my own agenda, <laughs> which is all about like getting dark interface. <laughs> oh. Seriously. I don't know, man. I kind of have an opinion about that. And, you know, some things. Some things, man. Some things are. I'm just like, 
You know, there's some things where like I'm, I'm I kind of, right, I'm just like, hey. <laughs> I can see it though. It's kind of like yeah. if you if you order a steak, um, well done. I'm like, no, don't do that. That's what I think about dark, dark and light interfaces. I know what I'm gonna do. If you ever like order a, a hamburger with just ketchup, <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Is this making any sense? A little bit. A little bit. Of a sense. little bit. I think I'm something is like no, just there. freaking don't do that. Just oh, don't. You know why are you ordering a steak well done? You're gonna get a fillet and order it well done. You know what the chef is like. Yeah. You he's disappointed. He's back there shaking his head for sure. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go off the deep end. But if you are curious, as you that's looking really good. You could use this. Are you gonna create gonna multiple? The, the, the grid Repeat thing. Grr, yeah. Grr. Okay. Cool. That's why I deleted the other ones. Um, like, rookie mistake. No, I love it. <laughs> uh, just so you know, uh, I'm now in AdobeXD UserVoice.com. You can find it, of course, right in here under Help. Provide feedback, and this is where you get to upvote all those feature requests and just to check the top ones since it has been mentioned in chat. Animate individual elements separately, and you can see it's in the backlog right here. So you have people actually part of the XD team working on this stuff. Nice. A lot of these sort of micro interactions have a scrollable area. So we we were able to actually pin content now, just so you know. And uh, my next step is to just to see where the dark interface is. But anyways, features under review. You can kind of see the status of a lot of this stuff. So there's that. I did a question for you. Yeah, buddy. Uh, How can I get the side to come through for me? Oh, okay. So uh, double click on, say, that first item. Double click. Now you're inside of it. Do you you want that shadow, right? Yeah, just on the left side. Um, it's like cut off. What you could do is you could actually, re if you resize it now, Okay. it's going to be, it, you created a bounding box as soon as you made that. Got it. So you need to create a larger box that maybe is 0% transparency, and that will serve as your bounding box. Mm, so you, okay. could, you could break this apart and we can do it, we can make it that way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try that again. <laughs> so, uh, bam, bam. And then one more bam. time, boom. Right, okay, cool. now uh, draw a bigger box around that element. And then, yeah, and just off. turn that off. Yeah, yeah, that should work. And send that to the back just so you, Oh yeah, by the way, like if you're used to using layers, uh -huh. oh yeah, you got it. Bam. You got it, buddy. There we go. Work it, work it. And then once you have that ready, you go ahead and... Bam. Bam. That must be Lisa. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, how do I say your last name? You know it. Ina you know what? Like an way. Oh, you know what? All right, Lisa. By the way, so our next guest just walked in. I just had to say hello. <laughs> don't don't let her go far. We're gonna keep an eye on this. We got special guests here, man. And we're like, oh. I'm like, no, you're not supposed to let him out of the room. <laughs> All right, Lisa said she's coming back, so that's good. She's our next guest. Full week available. Right, As you do that, uh, we could, uh, yeah. And this gets a little large, but we can adjust the spacing and the size of this too. So if those elements are large, you can shrink down the whole thing. Oh, okay. Like if you want to fit two in, yeah, two columns. Just take. We could double click. If you double click on into the first one, for instance, because that's easy, and then you can select. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. And you can even grab that bound. The bounding box is in there too, but oh, yeah. typically. Yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Just to. Okay. And it might be helpful, just so everybody knows what's happening, is in the layers panel, you can see where you're at. Because it's hard to get, it's it, it's easily easy to get lost yeah, when you're inside of, inside of a repeat grid, and then you, if you have it grouped and all of that. So I just kind of be mindful of your layers panel. Okay. All right. Cool. Alejandro is using uh, Photoshop. Perfect. You were talking to the, the, the exact person you needed to talk to. Howard Pinsky in the house. Um, as well as a, he's a huge Photoshop user. And who doesn't? I mean, I love Photoshop. 
Photoshop. The nice thing is you can just open up a PSD in XD, and that's a good way to get started in XD. Oh, I love it, Caroline. Cool. Caroline and I are on the same page. She likes the whole idea of parallax. People are seeing motion when they see those waves. Okay. Which are just perfect, by the way. I just I can I just love that they add a lot little touch. to this. A little touch of yeah. personality. So I'm into it. I'm trying to think of where to go from here. Eventually I want to fill these with icons for sure. I just need to. Just nice, nice gradients. Okay, yeah. So you said I can do. Yeah, you can move that over. And I'll yeah, it and then that 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 center. What a yeah. time to be alive. What a I what tell a ya. time to be alive. You're exactly right. <laughs> Into um, it. Project. I feel like you pick this subject because you've had ha you've had good mentors at least in like for UX and UI, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, oh. I've been working with Peter for like almost a year now, I think, or so. Okay. And he's uh, incredible. incredible. And you but, just reached out to him on on Twitter. Or? Yeah, I think to my honest, I think like this the story went like I randomly posted about like a design meetup in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and he, I'm not sure how he saw the tweet because I don't mm -hmm. think he followed me at all, but. Somehow he saw the tweet, and I was like, "This is my opportunity." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm, I'm all about. Well, I'm doing this. Coming in hot. Yeah. Uh, so. No, that's. Yeah, I like. Yeah, Aunt Peter's a great guy. I really like him. It's good. Good person. All right. So I figured while you're when you pick a category. Oops. Oh, sorry. Um. Okay, cool. Got it. So if I My wanted bad. to use, if I just wanted to change one of these, like I want to keep like one full opacity, the other one's just kind of more transparent. It's gonna change all you of would, them, right? Yeah. You have to ungroup, like undo it all? Yeah, you just have to just uh, ungroup uh, that okay. grid is what you do. Uh, and, uh, okay, okay. All good. Cool, cool. And I do apologize, because it looks like the, see, you really just like, it helps to do, like, I have one job, just freaking read. Just read. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so this daily challenge, um, so um, we're actually not giving away Creative Cloud, I, but essentially, honestly, XD is already, we have the starter plan, which is free anyways. Okay. Uh, but basically, this is a chance to give you uh, uh, feedback, and this is part of the uh, daily creative challenge. So it's day one, and that's what this daily challenge is about. It ties in with our daily creative challenge, um, which Marissa kicked off this morning. So it all okay. ties together. It's a circle. Yes. So she kicked it off, and we get to review your designs live. So that's the whole idea. Right that on. works for you. Right on. Ooh, are you using, yeah, I think you are using high, uh, shadows to establish some hierarchy. So these are selected, right? Yes. Very and cool. Kind of dim out a little bit transparency, and then. Um, do you need? Do you? What do you want in those circles? Icons. Okay, that would be specific to to each category, right, right? Do you already have those? Do you need those? Uh, what do you want? How are you feeling? I do not have them yet, but if you know of a okay. UI kit that may yeah. have some or some quick ones, I know I, I took um took these ones from a UI kit that you guys currently have. Yeah. So they might work as well. I might try to, oh yeah, those, some of those, but those need some, that might be kind of hard to select. Oh, by the way, my favorite feature, my favorite shortcut, since yes. you have that selected and it's so small, uh -huh. do command three, boom. Ooh. So it will zoom in on whatever you have selected. Okay. Which is nice. also nice for the stream, because we could easily see that's a huge, it's a huge pencil. It's a pencil. <laughs> 
Look at that thing. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Anyways, so. so then, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. I don't know. I, I kind of want to, like, I kind of want to help you, but it's going to cost you. No, it's just going to cost you. <laughs> No, it's not going to cost you. Because <laughs> you're going to have to turn those all to, um, why? To maybe a gray. Like, I don't know. Are they, maybe they're actually okay. Maybe they're okay. Maybe I can fill them with a gradient. Hmm? Maybe we can fill them in with a gradient. I knew you'd say that. How am I not surprised? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, every time I say gradient, I'm thinking of G R A D Y I E N T. Basically, right. your last name. Right. 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 So it's, Is it's, that it what you're? Clever. That's kind of what you're saying. That's what right? I was going for. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get on Instagram either, and I it came through for me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Oh, good times. <laughs> If you know any other, I feel like grabbing those for you because it's just like okay. busy work for you. That's fine. So, um, wait, 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 wait. we're gonna be really smart about this. Just show me all of those categories. Category is design, and uh, let me just get there because mm -hmm. all I'm doing is just gonna do a <laughs> screenshot as soon as I get down there. Good lord. All right, cool. I'm fine. I got it. You good? Yeah. All right, cool. I also have them in that Grammarly doc. I can paste them to you. All right. So the nice thing is, uh, yes, we are using CC libraries. Um, I could just do, you know, one asset in the CC library panel that has all these icons, something like that. Okay. So cool. Where's my assets? There they are. I want this. Ooh, Artisan. Good point. Artisan, man, I'm, this is awesome. He brought up a good point. Uh, essentially, you can you can do a repeat grid, and maybe that's set to semi-transparent. And then he's saying create a duplicate on top of it for the ones that you want to highlight. One. Okay. So that's that's a good a good approach as well. So cool. You don't necessarily have Thank to break you. it up. I like where your head's at. I just wanna. All right. Okay, cool. Caroline, you're looking for a uh, sketch runner for XD. Is finding uh, a text search or something to find the elements quickly. You can do a lot of that, just so you know. Uh, in fact, you know, in terms of finding elements, I will open up a project. And this is currently an issue, but let me just show you right over here. Let's switch over. So currently I have this project, right? All these different artboards and various things, right? Talking about finding elements. So you have your assets panel right over here. And for the assets panel, you can name these. So this could be, for instance, logo, right? So in terms of, ah, double click, there we go. That was so hard. That's the only thing you have to do. Right, you can categorize or like name all of your assets. Uh, if you named them in your layers panel, when you turn them into a symbol, 
it will keep that name, which is nice. And then right in here, of course, you can search for whatever. If I wanna find my search icon, there's my search icon, right? It's right there. Cool thing is, is I can actually take this, I can see that it said 29 copies, I can right click on it, and I can say, hey, highlight it on the canvas. Mm. There's kind of a number of ways you can find elements that way, and that gets highlighted on the canvas, and then I can go find it. So if they nice. are assets, it can be pretty easy to sort and find them, you can rename them, all that good stuff. But again, it's like naming layers in Photoshop. You right. Know? Kind of, it gets to be really important in here, I think. Just so much easier. Makes it quick, fast. And especially for, because um, you could have character styles in your assets panel. You can have colors, but you could name those. This could be your H1, your H2, or right. however you want to do that. Go through. So you know what's what, because I'm not going to be able to tell what did I use SF Pro 12.4. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Where does it work in? I have a job to do. I gotta find icons for you. Oh, man, I got work to do. It's I putting me to work. It. I just thought I got to hang out and look over <laughs> your shoulder. Man, I gotta, I gotta put to work? Really? Man. <laughs> I totally appreciate it. No, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it's much, I'm, much appreciated. I'm, I'm here for you. I do want to kind of point out a couple things, just in terms of resources, by the way. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and cheat a little. <laughs> um, right over here. So here I am in Illustrator. I did File New, and there are templates available. So these are my recent ones. If I go into, say, Web, I mean, just peruse these, by the way. Yeah. But you can see these nice, <clears throat> like like you were looking at, like, sort of a pencil and stuff like yeah. that. But Something. I think line, line art's kind of hot right now. Oh, very. OK. Very. So, it is sexy. Yeah, let's do that. Get that. Oh, yeah. Let's check this. Oh yeah, let's download that. And this is my starting point. And this is also for InDesign, Photoshop, yada, yada, yada. Oh yeah, and then right up here, I go, I go up here. One more thing. This is a secret, don't tell anyone. Just kidding. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, but right up here, but I wanna find something specific. So if uh -huh. you need, I'm just gonna type in design just to see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so these are design tools. So some of this okay. might work. And the cool thing is, is I could sync this directly to That's our library, yes. Adobe Live. Nice. Yeah, so that can go right there. You can okay. break the link, manipulate it, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Does that make sense when you say yada, yada, yada? Did, to like, me it does, not, but I'm not sure where it came from. Yeah, right? and like, that's a very, might be a very US-centric thing. I, I think so. And what I'd be I interested like is if you're, if you live in, if you're like Turkish or something, what do you say yada 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 or is it something else? Right. I, mean, I would love to know that. But like what does like yada 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 stand for, right? It's like I don't know. You know, where'd like, it come from? I'm saying like what's the like it you sounds... say it's like but it's like filler text, right? You're like yada yada yada. Yeah. It's like blah blah blah. Blah 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 might be another one. Blah blah blah. Maybe okay. that's more universal. Uh ooh, Yiddish seems to make sense. Daniel says it's Yiddish. That makes Oh yeah, from Seinfeld <laughs> as well. Again. Blah blah blah. Perfect. But I think that's always funny. It's like, it, if, if I imitated a dog barking, that might be something in the US, but it might be something else if you're in Russia. That's, yeah, that's true. You know, it's yeah. like, it's like Arrested Development, how they all, do you watch Arrested Development? I do not, I don't hate oh, them, I'm sorry. You have, so, oh, it's so fun. Anyways, <laughs> but they, each one of the family members imitates a chicken differently. Mm, and I think okay. that's kind of funny. Off, off, off subject. That's why I'm glad we're in design. Design should be like, <laughs> see how I tied it back? It's a universal language, right? It is. That's what we should know. It's like, look at something, you know, Pixel says a thousand words. Design is that's the universal true. language. Design is uh, And that's why I'm not in English major. everything. <laughs> Same. I can barely spell Tell, it, tell us what you want, what you really, really want. It felt right, <laughs> it just felt right. I love it. <laughs> All right, so. All right, Tim obviously is using Google. <laughs> Tim is talking about this very. It's an alteration of very uh, y Yatata idle chatter. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, you just Googled that, Mr. Smarty Pants. Yeah. I'm pretty smart. No, I'm just, he actually is a smart guy. I don't mean to pick on him. He did I use smart. Spice Girl? Of course I did. <laughs> you know it. Maybe we'll just do 
the Spice Girls theme. Maybe we'll sneak sneak as many pop culture references in here as we can. Who knows? <laughs> All right, back to my job. Cool. I got something to do. We didn't say anything the rest of the time. We just worked. You know what? I think we need D DJ Paco needs his. He needs time to shine too. It's like, I like listen that. to that music. He's over there with his turntables. Drop some, drop some sick beats. The hottest jam. Mixing it up. I'm about it. <laughs> DJ Paco in the house. <laughs> DJ Paco is that? I just made that up. But do you really have a DJ name? And what is it? Because we might have mentioned this before. Oh, you need. We need to think. We will do some creative brainstorming here. Ooh, DJ Pac-Man. Like Ooh, that. DJ Pac-Man okay. in the house. DJ Pac-Man it, it is. Boom, DJ Pac-Man. Thank you so much. <laughs> DJ Pac-Man <laughs> in the house. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline. Caroline, have you been with us for a bit? Because she mentions Andrew Apple Pie, who his whole style is this very designery background beat music. Okay. It's super cool. We used to play nothing but Andrew Apple Pie. It's really, really, <laughs> we, we, it was all Andrew all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and now we've kind of, you know, I think we've exhausted his library. Um, always kind of curious what people listen to. What do you listen to? Oh. You, nothing? Or? I listen to a lot. Just, um, it's not good music. Like I wouldn't consider it good music. It's more like just... What? Trash music? <laughs> Just like, what would that be? Like, what would that be? Um, I listen to like a lot of Cardi B. Cardi B. And uh, okay. stuff like that. Yeah, hey, yeah. there's no judgment here, man. Don't <laughs> be ashamed. There's some judgment Cardi for B sure. Cardi B is where one. it's at. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Cardi B. <sighs> That's good stuff. I can hear in your voice. Welcome to any other suggestions. We need to we need to broaden uh, Kyle's horizons a little yeah, bit. Yeah, come, come through with some music come, selections. Come through if you have anything <laughs> at all. I'm more interested in, in the embarrassing tracks people listen to. That's what I like. I like the Cardi B's of the world. Like I want to know. Okay. Like, I got to I got to I got to I got to test drive a Tesla yesterday. Nice. And then the, the and then Phil Collins in the air tonight came on and I was like, this is <laughs> awesome. In the air, the drum solo. Do, 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 do. And I actually got to play the drums because yeah. it was on autopilot. Do, 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 do. Just living your life. Anyway, huh? I don't know. I'm just all about Phil I Collins. I like it. Phil Collins is my uh, what do you call that? Just like my uh, my embarrassing playlist. Beauty and the Beast. What's that? Guilty. It's my guilty pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, Beauty and the Beast soundtrack, perfect. Electronic music. I'm getting you icons, so again, we're not just riffing, we are working. We are, we're cooking here. Disregard this, it's, it's uh, the background of an empty state, everybody. <laughs> Everyone's probably like, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. But don't you like how when you, draw, when you are drawing these lines, it really is just everything's contextual. So if you wanted to add points or anything, like you just right, roll you over just, the line, you yeah, click. It's no, I like that a lot. I everything's very useful. You want to turn a curve into a sharp corner, double mm -hmm. click. Super easy. Moana soundtrack. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, blasting, f oh, Howard. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> wife's playing Phil Collins in the other room. Mad props. Do, 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 do. I know you kind of do need autopilot for the drum solo in that. That's for sure. Let's show like a red light, right? Let's show like a stop sign. You know the what for your drum solo? Yeah. If you're in a complete stop. You know, yeah. You go at it. I hope there yeah, is cool. one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you listen to? I'm all. I'm probably all over the place. I'm happy to show you my Spotify playlist. I will say that Spotify's um, they have their um, 
uh, like weekly recommendations. Mm -hmm. The discovery. The discovery. Yeah. And that's what I use. I use discovery, okay. and I end up picking up these random, random yeah. groups and stuff. Maybe I can like re that. redeem myself here. Like I also listen to like a lot of like nineties. Smash hits. Okay. 90s love songs. 80s smash hits. Okay. I'm also a sucker for like 90s country, which is like a curveball for me. It, yeah. Is that like Garth Brooks? Like Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw. You know. That is way some out. throwbacks there. That's what I grew up on. And there's no shame here. So I'm like, yeah, I own <laughs> it for sure. <laughs> okay, good. I like that. You know what? Because like other people like it as well, probably. Just they don't want to say it, right? They just so don't want to say it. They just that one no, person and be not, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then you you discovered everybody. Everybody has Phil Collins in their playlist or Cardi B or whatever. That's true. That is very true. So, Genesis. Yes, love Genesis. Oh, oh Jared Gaius is asking if we'd ever think of broadcasting on a different platform like Twitch. I love it. Where's Gus at? <laughs> we used to be on Twitch like all the time. Mm -hmm. So yes, we pretty much started out on twist. Twitch, just so you know. New Wave, we have ABBA. This is good stuff to design to. In, in sync, yeah. That's a like nine, late nine? Yeah, yeah. Like that's, in the 90s. I'm good with that. I love that retro stuff, man. I, I'm into it. before everyone attacks me. I will change all the other buttons to match this as well later. Okay, good, we were wondering. Oh no, wait. Are you gonna keep that as a, like a gray tone nebulous thing? This Kinda one? Kinda works, but yeah. I mean, you do what For you like, do. Well, I need to add like some sort of illustration on top of it. Okay, Of cool. like, I'm not really sure yet. Oh shoot. Some sort of areas of focus. Yeah, if I'd only get on those illustrations and start yapping, stop yapping. Okay, design, project management, development. All right. Cool. And then, I guess, no, I want to just change one. Can I just change the size of the button mm -hmm. without changing the rest of it, or? Change the size so that you could break it apart. Okay. That's probably what you want to do. Cool. So we are working on that. We're working on a music player to go in Adobe XD. Just kidding. <laughs> it plays your <laughs> music. We recommend for this design that you play some uh, light and airy, I don't know, tracks. I don't tracks. know what that would be. So maybe Mr. Wives. It's happy and peppy. I like Mr. Wives. They're okay. awesome. And they're adorable because the lead singer is like dating the drummer and all their songs are like, they're just, they're just the best. It's just, it's so cute how they're <laughs> dating and they have songs together. It's the most adorable that thing ever. That's cute. Yeah. And I'm kind of bummed because she's kind of cute. Mm. I'm like, oh man, she's taking. <laughs> what am I going to do? Me now. Adding a couple images in there for you through CC Libraries. Matt and Kim. Love Matt and Kim. That's from Peter Del Tondo, says Matt and Kim. You don't mm -hmm. know Matt and Kim? Did you, Matt and Kim, actually met in art school in New York City? That's how they met at art school. And uh, so she does a lot of sort of artwork. Um, anyways, and their, their videos are awesome as well. Air is an old school band as well. Cool. Radiohead will work. All right, just trying to get you some icons, my friends. Cool. We might have to drop those in later, but I'm just amazed at how For this sure. is all coming together pretty quickly. Copy that. If you are just joining us, this is a mentor app. <laughs> Find your mentor based on a specific category, area of focus, and uh, yeah, get matched up with them. And uh, hopefully, like, will there be a chat element of this? Oh, there, like, yeah, so like once you're in the app, mm -hmm. you can like maybe like, um, like schedule your session, your you know your tutoring schedule or not tutoring. Sorry, that's another app I'm working on. <laughs> uh, that's actually funny. Um, but no, it's uh, basically you can like schedule your calls, video chats, or it's a call. See their pricing if that's a thing. You know, okay. If, like if they charge per hour or 
Okay, so it'll match for... you up with them. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, so it'll basically match you with the mentor that fits the best of what you're trying to learn. And then I'll give you all your options, right? So it might just be one mentor. You might have an option of like maybe six or seven, depending okay. on how many show up. And then from there, you can kind of see like what best fits your schedule, you know, see what their schedule and availability is like. Um, you know, take the call inside the app. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do the whole take, nine take the call. Maybe there's, I don't know, there needs to be a video chat or like maybe just basic messaging. Right. Um, yeah. Stuff like that. No, that's. Oh. Que genial, esto. That means really cool. Nice. Genial. I heard that a lot in Colombia, Miguel, which is where you live. It's funny that you... Or chevre. Chevre is another cool, like, oh, that's cool kind of mm. word. I don't know. It's funny how for each language, like the first words you learn are those fun slang terms of cool, Easily. awesome, yeah. what's up, like all the very... <laughs> And donde es el baño? You know, and then where's the bathroom? <laughs> right? It's like, hey, what's up? Where's the bathroom? <laughs> For any language, <laughs> you learn. That's like the, the first thing. The <laughs> like basics, that's what you need, right? and then, the, and then, of course, the cuss words, which we will not go there. We're not gonna go that there, right? All right we're ch this is a family program, everybody. <laughs> and it looks like you have less than five minutes to get your daily challenge designs in. We're just gonna review those. Okay, so that's the plan. And we'd love to review those designs that you submit. It is day one for these daily challenges. So uh, super happy that Marissa is here all week and next week hanging out with us in charge of all of that. So that is fantastic. All right. Cool. If you happen to find an X icon, let me know too. Oh yeah, you got it. Let me slow. open up. I can. Uh, the thing is, is like I, I need to get everything like the. So you just used a straight up X. Sure did. <laughs> just move on quick. That's all. Uh, no, cool. that's good. Let's draw one in here. Could we do that? Yeah. Uh, so just like zoom in on, like select that, and just like just zoom in on that, or whatever. Just do what you need to do. Boom. Wow. Just get rid of that. Yeah. Start over. Just Use the line, line tool. Yeah. That makes sense. We should. But this is a good opportunity because I want to actually, sh and then you can, you can take that yes. round. Good. Boom. You know, you know what to do. Yeah, we got this. Um, if you do a copy and paste, it'll paste a new one on top of the current one. And then just rotate And then you should it. be able to rotate. And you could rotate it, say a hundred, like, what would it be? Hundred. So one eighty? No. Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> ninety <laughs> degrees. Try ninety. We have no idea. We had what just we're like doing. disregard that <laughs> there entire thing right there. Like, that <laughs> like, was awful. We, we made it hundred eighty. Seven twenty. Tw like we were going like way. We were rotating it like <laughs> three and a half times. It got us there. Oh man. Um, but the cool thing is you can select this. And by the way, like we keep adding functionality to drawing lines. Obviously, mm -hmm. you change the thickness. You round the caps. You can make it an inside stroke and outside stroke. Um, oops. Oops. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Or was that just... I don't know what you there did there. Go. Um, what else? Sorry, I'm looking over your shoulder. Oh, you're okay. And then I just realized, oh, I have this, like, laptop right in front of me. So how about that? There we go. And then, of course, the dashes. Dash lines, gaps, all that fun mm -hmm. stuff. So, um, you know, we were doing the uh, password protection, just use a repeat grid in a circle. We could have actually made that a dashed line would be another way to approach that. But okay, yeah. Either way. Okay. Yeah, and some, so they do get hard to select. That's very nice though, by the way. Thank you. That was looking pretty good. Oh yeah, so I promise we can math. No, I was saying. Speaking of math, <laughs> by the way, like, cause you actually use a lot of, you will jump into some of those uh, um, numerical fields yeah. for changing things. You could do math operations in there. So if you did, if there was, sure. you know, you need to multiply something time, you need something twice as large, you know, right. asterisk two, done. Yeah. Dividing, all that fun stuff. So yeah, 
fantastic. I've just, I'm like thoroughly impressed with the number of things I've been able to do in XD. Like I'm a big like <laughs> Illustrator user. Okay. And uh, like I could do most things in XD that I need to do. Yeah. Especially with all these line capabilities. It's been kind of awesome. And the fact that anytime you do a Boolean operation, like a subtract or add or whatever, mm -hmm. it actually keeps the original shapes so you can move them around. Unlike an Illustrator, it's actually very degenerative. It will remove those, you know, those overlapping parts. So, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Desai. You can't sleep, so you're joining us. That's what we want to hear. How late is it for you there? Would love to hear. It is. 1029. In fact, it's less than a minute before we review the challenge right. submissions. So it's part of the daily challenge. So join us. With, uh, yeah. Kyle here is going to help me review those too Sounds as well. Good. So we will we will need your help. Cool, cool. And uh, otherwise known as Kyle PGH on Twitter. In case you need to get in touch with him after the stream, would be awesome. <laughs> Kevin, so I agree. That's on Twitter. <laughs> What's that? That's why they put calculators on computers. That's where it's at. <laughs> that, that's why spell check is a thing. Spell check is a whole thing. Yeah. Yes. So. And uh, yeah, that might be coming too soon to XD. That'd be may sweet. or may not be. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Mm. It may or not may or may not have been snuck. That's a, it's a sounds weird. <laughs> snuck. <Yeah. laughs> <It's> sneaked. <laughs> Such a weird word. <laughs> sneaked. We may or may not have sneaked that. And uh, feel free to follow Adobe XD on social media everywhere. And because um, like Andrew Shorten is, uh, I think he's the senior or director level XD manager. He tweets out a lot of cool stuff. Like he gets to sneak a lot of this stuff and then I just, I just watch him and like if he says it, then I'm like, that's a thing. There it is. There it is. I think you mentioned you first learned or downloaded XD like a long time ago, right? Yeah. Like maybe when it first came when out. When it first came out. And you kind of got to see it evolve over time. Yeah. Like where it came, it's brilliant. All right, cool. We're looking pretty fantastic. We have, let's just, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Yeah, we'll get into these in a second, uh, okay. just so you know. But Vedam, one, two, Six, we have six entries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six entries that we will review cool. shortly. And yes, I agree, Linda Friday. Kyle is fast. Linda Friday has the best name ever, by the way. I like that. Her name is Linda Friday. So what Linda <laughs> means beautiful in Spanish, and, and her last name is Friday. And Friday is a, a beautiful week. It a is week a beautiful, day. Sorry, beautiful a day. weekday. Yes, it is. That is great. It's a beautiful day, beautiful name, totally works. Beautiful Friday. She was my, I used, I made a restaurant and I named it after her yesterday. <laughs> nice. Is what I did. Like, that was my project in, in <laughs> XD. So, all right. I'm going to have to change these eventually. You could center that button. I'm sure it's bothering everybody. Everybody's like, can you center Yeah, I know. You could, you, you, or you don't want way. to. Just there you go. Boom. People, you know? Boom. <laughs> so. I feel like you've just been like, you've really been cranking this out, man. Look at all these screens. We're gonna be done. We're gonna be done Here by day two, by the way. Day two. Oh, we're adding <laughs> all the functionality. Look at that. For sure. Oh, uh, so let's actually view these like kind of full, larger if we could. Hit yeah. the play button. Okay. Nice. And then you can even go full screen with that. Hit the plus there. And we'll get it. View it in all its glory. And if you nice. just use your arrow keys, I know we haven't really prototyped it. Oh, we cool. We can kind of click through, log in. Hey, my name's Kyle. Upload an image. There he is. There he is. Picking the categories, selected design, areas of focus. So tell us what you want. Yeah. Area of focus want. is UI design. And some Fantastic. others. Fantastic. And some others. That's awesome. Okay. 
and then it'll hopefully oh, serve up a mentor. I don't know. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, serve Peter's a in there. Realness. Oh, he's is in Peter there. Is Peter gonna be in there? Is Hebba's gonna be in there? Oh, is Munir gonna be in there? Maybe we'll pull some names from chat. Oh, that'd be cool. Can we do that? Yeah. Like pull in some names from chat. Um, How about it? We'll see if we can get some images. We could do a number of things. We can actually like take images. Wouldn't that be cool if we could take some images from, from their profile pictures and drop them yeah. in there? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot I don't them know. over. We might be talking uh -huh. crazy. Super fun <laughs> idea. Because we want you to be involved and uh, all that good stuff. So nice. super cool. But um, that's all awesome, right. man. I'm going to kind of dive into the daily creative challenge. Okay. If you're ready to I'm ready for shift it. gears. Sure thing. Right on, Kyle, because that challenge <clears throat> submission deadline says zero, zero, zero. So uh, let's dive into this, and I'll just kind of switch over to my screen. So this was the XD daily creative challenge. The uh, challenge was create prototype a stories for social networking mobile app using this XD file, add color stock imagery, then prototype the user flow adding transitions. Okay, so that's the plan. And uh, Marissa actually uh, went over that this morning as part okay. of the daily creative challenge at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, and that's the daily creative challenge for today. So um, that is the plan. So you ready to dive into I'm this, my friend? It. Let's do this. And by the way, you can just click on that. We're giving them some starter files that I'm just going to take a look at as well. But uh, let's dive into this right now. This is the file. Just so we're familiar with it. So some suggested colors, some suggested screens for stories. Uh, now let's dive into our entries. Cool. It does help if you do put your name in here as part of the name of the app, just so we can give you a shout out. But this is our first entry, uh, social app. We can see this is actually just shared by Dropbox. Okay. Um, but we should be able to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to download this as well. All right. All right, so good job. <laughs> I think this first one was kind of, let's move on from that one. It looks like it's literally just the template. So let's dive. Oh, that's probably my fault. That, maybe that's my, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. I clicked on the same file. Here's the one we want. It's a fitness app. And right in here, logo. The cool thing is, is let me just refresh this because uh, once you publish out a, a, a prototyping link, you could actually update it like on the slide, on live. which okay. is nice. Nice. So let's view this. And uh, let's dive into this. So I'll click on the name. Here's the name for this, I guess, story. Um, hard to kind of figure out what's going on here, but um, it looks like it's a fitness app and it allows you to select different uh, <coughs> sort of types of types of equipment. Yeah. Not sure what this has to do with stories, but either way, I'm glad that they're getting involved. So hey, yeah. why yeah. not? Next up, uh, here we have Oliver or Olivier. Is that how I'd say it? I don't know, but either way, Olivier. super fun profile pic. Story social app, one hour production time. I love it when people do this, by the way. Yeah. Like, show us how long it took you. Um, Love XD, no need to say, perfect. Uh, be natural, I love it. It's clever. Is that Pacifica too, the logo? Mm. I think so. I like it, the be, the <laughs> be about natural. It. Yeah. This is like on point. You know <laughs> this was created within the last hour. And look at that. Oh look, they're kind of sucking up to me and they added my profile <laughs> image. It's Terry White, Michael Shays, good to see ya. Fantastic, Jason Levine. Oh, the mock-up version in there. Now let me actually just click on this because this is actually a prototype um, baked into the this Behance project. Okay. So clicked on me. We can go ahead and dive in. Type in, you know, the story as part of this, and we can always close it right there. Nice. So that's way cool, right? Very. No, Looking I like that through. a lot. Yeah, you got the idea. A number of screens. Like I might be missing something. Uh, but either way, that works. Let's dive in the next one. Sarah Garcia. Let's check it out. Look at those waves. 
Ooh, try and click around to see what happens. I'm actually gonna view this link, but good job covering your bases, by the way. Um, this is, let's wait for it. Oop. The XD link, yep, perfect. And it shows me, since I'm viewing the link, it shows me how many screens, because I don't want to cool. miss anything. Let's go ahead and add a story, just like we can in Snapchat or Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. Closing that. Feel free if you have any. Oh yeah, clicking on a story from another person. Oh, perfect. Let's go back to the screen. Okay, right here, we want okay, to add something to it. Add a message right there, or something like that. Yeah, what do you think, man? No, I like that a lot. I like the, the use of imagery, and of course, I'm a sucker for the the waves at the top there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I'm into it. I like how she used uh, rectangles as well instead of circles. Because I mean, circles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're they're everywhere, but it's pretty cool to mm -hmm. see it. I think so too. I like too. that. I yeah. think it's minimized here. Great use of photos, very, by the way. Very. It's clean. Yeah, and here's like multiple stories. Everything we need. Oh, I like that. She, the icon and right down here. Yeah, the pants on how she did the color well. Oh, that's that pretty cool. Good. Totally cool. Yeah, easy, and uh, following sort of like metaphors that we're used to. Oh, good job. From Snapchat and Instagram right. and all that stuff. So great job, Sarah Garcia. Yeah. You are fantastic, and you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna be my boss someday. <laughs> all right, so. Here's another XD link. You can build it into open in full screen mode, by the way, which is nice. We'll click through some of these. Let's click on, oh, we can click on the camera, but let's check out this first story. Clicking right here. Very fashionable mm -hmm, of her. Mm -hmm. Slaying it. And then Slaying right it. here. Um, I will say that look at the hit area for this button is really small, right? Right. You can always add a, Transparent, like a slight background rectangle, yeah. yeah, up there. So just to make it easier to click on. Um, but yeah, boom, go back, click on camera, okay. take a photo, and publish. Yeah, same instance there, right? Like the the X icon on the other screen. That's fantastic. Cool, very cool. Nice. Appreciate. And now I'm stalking you. <laughs> All right, next up, <laughs> Antonio. Pusamato. Very cool. Look at this nice header. Right Prototype on. stories for a social networking app. I get a good glance at all the screens. Yeah. Ooh. Music gram. Oh, I like that. Nice okay. Scripts. Okay. What script wants that? Yeah. Feel free to put that in the chat. Totally into it. <laughs> Let's actually view these full screen. There's cool. one. And then the next one. And then the next one. Yeah. Great. Job scrolling down. So these are just screens that exported. Totally works. Uh, and again, you can always, you know, publish out. Use the embed code. So as you do this, by the way, right up here, go to publish prototype. And uh, it's my other one that I already have published. But once you create that public link, you'll get the embed code option right up here. So that's what you uh, typically can do. Let's go to this. Is that it? I think that might be it. Let me actually just check and maybe we'll switch off my screen. We'll switch mm -hmm. over to yours or us. Right on. What's up, everybody? I'm just double checking to make sure I viewed them all and I think I did. Let me know if I missed yours and you submitted it. So, Vadam. Yes, we got Vadam's. His was the uh, fitness app and then we went through the others as well. Uh, yeah, I think we got everybody's. Yeah. So I'm gonna give them uh, some of these like a second look real fast. Cool. <clears throat> and uh, let me know, even as we take a look, it's rock solid, right? Yeah, very. This is really good. Like all of these, this one here, we have Sarah's, super strong with the gradients. I know mm -hmm. you like the curve, inspired by just... you. Spoke that, to my, like, she spoke to my soul right there. She did. There, you know? She peeked into your soul and said, like, oh, this is, this is what you want. <laughs> I'm going to get them right I'm gonna, there. <laughs> I'm going to get them right here. Yes. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> you got him for sure. Ashes was really strong as well, right? Mm -hmm. And again, this is that embedded prototype basically right in here. Right Fantastic. On. I'm amazed that you, everybody turned this around basically like in an hour. Right. That's awesome. I think this one's 
probably the strongest in terms of layout. So this yeah. is just gorgeous at the top. I would add in here saying, you know, it only took you an hour, right? Yeah, I would definitely put in that. a time. So it's impressive, right? Like, I think people know. If you, I guess if you say day one, they consider it a day. But like, say, hey, this. Right. Anytime you do that, you're gonna you're setting expectations from the client. Just They're gonna know right, what you can do in an hour. Yep. And that can be a tricky situation. Very. Very. Um, but totally works, right? Uh, definitely. What's your opinion on? Um, like some of these, this is strongly influenced by Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, what is your opinion on sort of uh, taking from ex apps that already exist out there? Like, is that a good idea, a bad idea? Like, what's your I'm thoughts? not against it, right? Because uh -huh. I think like, um, you know, it's kind of like why reinvent the wheel, right? Type of thing. But, yeah. you know, there's also a difference between like taking and stealing with like their entire concept of it and then yeah. putting your own twist onto it. So that's okay. But then... If you, you know, it's also a difference of like what, like what do you publish versus what you don't, right? Yeah, and like, I think, uh, yeah. I mean, I've taken things in the past for sure, and just kind of like practice and try to understand how other companies create things, mm -hmm. you know. But it's very like common practice. It kind of becomes like standards almost, right? So like stories, kind of look yeah. roughly the same around across the board. So exactly, yeah, I'm about it. Yeah, uh, I am too, and I, I honestly think it's a great way to learn. Just like take a screenshot Easily. of something and just like recreate it. You'll realize how complex Instagram might be. Right. Because these are like a lot more complex than you realize. In fact, it's hard to be, it's to be as simple. The the simplicity of something. Simplicity Very. is difficult. Very. Is what I'm saying. It's you can put a thousand things on a screen, but you need to know what to take away. Right. Yeah. And exactly. I think it's funny coming like full circle again. Um, it's funny because like when I was struggling with this, it was like trying to find those polishing pieces to put on, right? Mm -hmm. So like you said, you take a screenshot, you redesign it like on whatever you know platform you're on, and for some reason I was, was like, oh, mine never looks exactly like theirs, or it doesn't look as good as theirs, so what mm -hmm. am I missing? So yeah, I mean, again, finding a mentor helps. <laughs> yeah, totally, <laughs> exactly. Know? Peter definitely helped me with that, like yeah. the small detail stuff, and even though overall, it was awesome. Uh, it could have been Peter. It could have actually been like, uh, yeah, another guest we had. But we literally went through that process of just like recreating something that already exists. Okay. It's a good place to, yeah. to start. But that's it's why a great we way to practice too, like you said. need mentors. That's how you learn. So let me just double check right here because I did open up uh, this other one. Here we go. Oh, it is one. Perfect. Cool. Kyle Fearson, real f uh, fast. We will take a look at his. We can see it right here. And I just downloaded this. Um, I, the name threw me, by the way, because I thought it was, <laughs> you know, the actual <laughs> template file. But perfect sends me this XD file. We can just double check. Let's make sure. Yep, everything is linked up. So nice. Taking a quick pre quick preview. Let's do a desktop preview of this, and we can dive into this design staff book. Yeah. Let's close this. I think what I like about that one is that. It's kind of like another use case of it where maybe your your picture's not always full screen, right? So you have to have that use case of what it looks mm, like when it's not yeah. full screen. And I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's that like designing good. for all use cases and stuff. Yeah. Smart. So we can kind of click into this one. I don't know why they chopped their heads <laughs> off. They did not sign the NDA. Yeah, they so did not. They were like, no. Nope. Like, oh, no. There it is. <laughs> uh, let's <laughs> go through to this next one. So again, I will... Luckily, I have this XD file, so we get to peek under the hood and see how this is all set up. And those are all the screens. You could do a Command A to select everything cool. and see how everything's like linked up. I love how clean this is, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right? Simple. I think this gets a little, little. I mean, it, if it's staffing, then it can't be too crazy with the design. Correct. It's got to be like kind of professional. And... Yeah. I still think it could use a little more flavor. Because I'm. This is the only boring part, if you ask me. That's fair. Am I wrong? You're not I wrong. Hate to say I, it. It's not. You know. It's not. It's not hate for anything like that. But <laughs> you're safe. Um, no, I think you know maybe it, uh, maybe a more fun name or. I'm sure you make like, a design. It's too, I don't know. Pred it's too predictable. It's like too like uh, again like this. But does it set your expectations for it? Yeah, I don't know. Time. It's probably uh, probably just fine. We're probably overthinking it because this is such a clean design. Very done. Like yeah. this, this will meet the and client's again, needs. In an hour, sold. right? Like it's pretty. No doubt. So. I'm thoroughly impressed. Are you impressed with like everybody's designs? Oh, for sure. Everything everyone did in Easily. such a short amount of time. Uh, so thank you so much, Antonio and Ash and Sarah, and let's not forget uh, Olivier. Is that how you'd say that? Bertrand as well. And let's not forget we also have the fitness app. So everybody oh. did a fantastic yeah. job.
Thanks, everybody. Uh, the fitness app was uh, the dams. So great job, everybody. We just had to highlight your hard work that you did in an hour. By the way, you did a lot of work in an hour too. I'm like <laughs> thoroughly impressed. <laughs> well, like we not well, only that, like we make you talk, and it's kind of hard to talk and explain and then work at the same time. It yeah. kind of slows you down. You should, yeah. And it you my freaking hustled. Right they hate it. No, what? Oh, co-workers. how fast you are? <laughs> no, how much like, I talk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. No, we love it. We love hearing it. Peter says you crushed it, man. Thanks, Peter. I agree as well. Peter, you are too kind. Just checking. Oh, yeah, we have actually a couple minutes. This cool. is good. Go on. Oh. We'll just carry on, carry on. Yeah, let's keep on. And uh, as you carry on, like, what's the plan for the next couple days? Yeah, so I figured. You know, today, like I said, was just kind of focusing on like those initial screens that are kind of important to an app for onboarding a user, mm-hmm. right? I think tomorrow we can get into like more fun stuff, more visual, like, you know, what a, what a, uh, a mentor profile may look like and kind of how that interaction goes, mm-hmm. um, what you do from there. And then I figured we might start prototyping tomorrow and see how all these link up together. And all right. Also, I'm a big fan of, this is like, we're just maybe, just maybe, and things like this, I label my layers just oh. by number so I know where I'm at when I'm prototyping as well. Okay, nice. So I can just know like, oh, like one clicks to two and two clicks to three. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. So that's just, uh, and just, we'll, we'll show some other features around that too. Cool. But I like, that's that's a, a reason why you'd name your artboards, name your layers because they can become assets. Like right. naming things gets to be pretty important because it's going to be able to tell you where you are. Cool. So that's really good. Yeah. I like it. And we can always use your help uh, as well, everybody. Yeah. We'll have to pull in some mentors, figure out those names and all that stuff as it. well. I'm trying to figure uh, out what to do with these buttons. Which ones? They can't be the same as these, right? Like they. Oh, wow. See, we're already running into some, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, some I'm not really sure how that would, issues. That would be, but. Stay tuned, huh? We'll, yes, please. We'll hopefully get. Feel free to have, give all the suggestions. Yeah, we need your help, Evan and. Munir and Rob and Jason, we'd love to have you helping out. <laughs> but, uh, cause this is gonna be good. And yeah. then we'll see what happens like on day three. I think what's cool about this as well is that this is, this is like something real. It's not just some made up, hey, we're designing a whatever. Right. You know, a restaurant a website, spot. which is yeah. great. But this is like something that you're, uh, you know, actively thinking about that could actually be a real thing. Yeah. Which is awesome. I'm hoping. Right, I, 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 I love it. I wanna, I wanna be able to actually I think one thing that we would like, I would like to see here is being able to just message my mentor. Yeah, for sure, I think. Of, uh, it's those little, should I, I'm, I'm, you know, you're upset at something, how should you respond? Hey mentor, Yeah. what do you think of this situation? No, for and sure. And nobody uses the phone. In, uses yeah, no the one calls f- people, right? I guess there's like, a, I guess on, on, I guess on my mobile device there's a, a p- p- phone app? What is that all about? It's like a landline? It's like a landline, what's a landline? <laughs> landline? <laughs> It's a p- Pahone, am I saying that right? It's a Pahone app? Can I delete that? That's dumb. <laughs> Anyways. I would definitely get rid of mine though, if I could. <laughs> I don't know. Get rid of yeah. It. That's it. so funny. So Munir, thank you so much. We're kind of winding down. It's plenty of places. Yeah. I'd get, oh, by the way, thank you so much, Munir. I'm kind of wrap up with this. Kyle, you did a fantastic job, but also there's, we have this new resources page as part of uh, Adobe XD, so. Okay. Uh, Behance. This just launched today, by the way, so I'm just going to paste this into chat. It's a whole resources mm-hmm. page that gives you all those UI kits cool. and things like that. And we can point out a thousand more resources, but we're saving something for tomorrow. So we're going to have more goodies available. But you know what? We have some fun people in today. What's up, Liz Lisa over there? Hey, what's up, Lisa? Lisa's coming <laughs> up next. Uh, Lisa Inui? You know it? Inui? You know it. All right. I got to (laughs) phonetically spell that out for myself. And with Marissa Blair, she kicked off the day and she's back. We're putting her to work all day. It seems like she's feeling good from Toronto, enjoying her time in San Francisco and in front of the camera and talking to you, Kyle and Mikhail and everyone Mm -hmm. here. So, um, yeah. And then also we'll have Jermaine Boca up later today from one to three. This is the whole schedule. So hang out with us. You can see how these designs evolve and everything and get involved, of course, with that daily creative challenge as we work on those for the next couple days. Kyle's first time is just up. Lisa's gonna be up next. We have her for two hours and Jermaine as well from one to three. So thank you so much. Uh, Kyle, how are you feeling? How was your first 
day today. How'd you do? How you feeling, buddy? I'm feeling a lot better. You know, I was a little you nervous up front. Nervous. I'm just you... like, ah, oh, I'm not sure how I feel. <laughs> you know, did see the coffee kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly like once you get your head down working, you just kind of forget about other yeah. things. Yeah. You oh, I did. Like it's like thousands of people. Vision, right? are, are, they're all judging you by based on the font. <laughs> Everyone's like, what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Did he really say Cardi B? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Truly, like, though. Why did I say Cardi B? No. You just wait. I'm gonna throw out some Spotify lists for everybody. I know. He's gonna work on his Spotify playlist. Stay tuned <laughs> for that tomorrow, and we're just gonna—it's really gonna just go downhill from there. It's it really all, is. It's in a, in a good way. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you for joining oh, cool. us, my friend. Thanks for having me. Everybody, Thanks tune in. We have Lisa up and Marissa, so stay tuned, everybody. Right on. Thank you, everyone. See, See ya. you guys. Thank you.